So when is a superhero not a superhero anymore? Hey guys, Comic Relief Crusader here with <laughs> some interesting news again. Uh, this, you know what, from an article from Reuters. And um, a little article here, U.S. Trademark Office cancels Marvel and DC's superhero marks. What does that mean? Well, it means that for years, um, you know, in case you didn't know, Marvel and DC Comics jointly owned the trademark term superhero. But uh, apparently that doesn't really mean anything anymore. And I'll tell you why from this article from Reuters. Uh, in the article, it says um, on September 26th from Reuters, a U.S. trademark office tribunal has canceled the set of superhero trademarks jointly owned by the comic giants Marvel and DC at the request of a London-based comic book artist according to a Thursday order. So, the USPTO's trademark trial and appears uh, appeal board ruled for J S J Reichholds Super Babies Limited after Disney uh, Marvel and Warner Brothers DC did not file to answer to Super Baby's request to invalidate the marks. So what this is is basically this guy, uh, Mr. Reichholds, had a comic book out called Super Babies, and Marvel and DC didn't like the fact that uh, they were using super in it because, you know, well, we own it. We own superheroes and uh, and that trademark. But, um, yeah, didn't matter uh, because this is, this is basically a different title. So spokesperson and attorneys for Marvel and DC did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Super Baby's attorney, Adam Adler of Reichman Jordanson, uh, Layman and Fieldberg said in a statement that the ruling was not just a win for our client, but a victory for creativity and innovation. By establishing superheroes place in the public domain, you got to remember that, we safeguard it as a symbol of heroism available for all storytellers, Adler said. So basically, you know, if you got a superhero comic out there, I mean, you know, it's kind of a misnomer that superhero is what your superhero is. A hero. And a super one at that. But Marvel and DC thought that for years they uh, essentially owned that little stranglehold. But uh, rivals, Marvel and DC, jointly own four federal trademarks covering the term superhero and superheroes, the oldest of which dates back to 1967. Reinhold writes comics featuring a team of superhero babies called the Super Babies. According to Reinhold, DC accused his company of infringing the superhero marks and threatened legal action after Super Babies Limited applied for U.S. trademarks covering the Super Babies name. Marvel and DC have cited their marks in opposing dozens of superhero-related trademarks applications at the USPTO, according to the office's records. So, Super Babies petitioned the office to cancel the marks in May, and it argued that Marvel and DC cannot claim ownership over an entire genre. I mean, how many superhero comics have there been over that time countless ones right so it's not really just for marvel and dc to claim the name superhero when there are millions of superheroes out there for everybody to enjoy uh so uh and that the two connections cannot own the trademarks together 
So the case of Super Babies Limited versus Marvel Characters Incorporated, trademark trial and appeal board, cancellation number 92085201 uh, for Super Babies Adam Adler and Reichman Jordanson, Lehman and Fieldberg for Marvel and DC, Jonathan Richman and Hutton Andrews Kurth. Uh, you'd have to read more on that. So essentially... What that means is that, well, uh, considering how they didn't get back to them, uh, the can the petition was canceled, and uh, arguing that Marvel and DC cannot claim ownership over that entire genre, that made the two companies, uh, you know, cannot jointly own a trademark. Uh, it means that essentially they won, and uh, it's out there for everybody to use out in the public sphere of everything which is hilarious because it's it's rather funny that marvel thinks that it can own an entire genre um you know essentially the word superhero when there have been millions of superheroes out there so they lost and it's a big win for independent comics out there that can just go ahead and use the word superhero well, that's all I got. And uh, this is the Comic Relief Crusader. We'll be talking to you soon. And uh, get out there and do some heroism things. Talk to you later.